Hi everyone, my name is Mohan Lal. I'm a product marketing intern here at Trimble and I'm in the scanning department. Uh, thanks for joining us today on this LinkedIn Live. Today we're going to be looking at uh, Trimble RealWorks demo and I'll be showing you how to create some really cool looking point cloud visuals uh, in Trimble RealWorks. Now we all know RealWorks of course is a powerful way to edit and view our point clouds. It's a great modeling tool as well, but what a lot of people don't know is that it's great for giving presentations and deliverables as well. The video creator tool in Trimble RealWorks is a great way to show off your point clouds in a much smoother manner rather than just showing them into the software itself. So let's take a look and get started. The first thing that you guys want to do is head over to the media tab and choose the video creator. This will take a couple of seconds to load as RealWorks is going to hop into a new view here. So you get two windows, uh, one at the top and one at the bottom. The top one shows you the path of your camera. So if we go over here and choose a step-by-step -step mode, we can see this yellow box up here is our camera. And in the bottom window, if we move it around, if we zoom in or move the position of our point cloud, we can see where the camera is moving relative to the rest of the cloud. If you are aware of this video creator tool and you might have used it before, uh, sometimes you might find that your videos come out kind of choppy or they look kind of jagged. And I'm going to show you a couple tips to take care of that and it's actually relatively simple. Before we get started with making our videos though, there's a couple things that we can do just to make your point clouds look uh, nice and presentable. The first thing is that you want to come to your shading options and make sure that you have enhanced ambient shading turned on. And this will just give your point clouds a bit of a cleaner look. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your pixel density is set to 2. And again, this will kind of fill in uh, some gaps that you might have in your cloud and just make the presentation overall a lot better. So the first tip I'm going to show you is what I call just a simple pan. So let's zoom in. Uh, we'll use this house as an example here. We're just going to line ourselves up, get into a straight view, and head over to the top right and add a keyframe. So keyframe, essentially, if you uh, have edited videos before, is just like a location marker right? is a way to describe it. So you can see our camera here. We're going to add a keyframe. And we're just going to move our camera in one direction. This key here now is not to use just your mouse and to pan around like this. What we're going to do, I'm just going to reset this here, is we're going to add our keyframe and just position to the bottom or one of the sides of the screen. And that'll let you pan in one direction. And this will give you a really nice smooth motion. So you can see as I've panned in one direction, RealWorks has automatically added the next keyframe for me. So I don't need to go ahead and change anything there. So once we have that set, we can set the duration for a video. For these, I like to keep them short from about three to seven seconds. And the reason why is one, it keeps your file size really short. And the other thing is that you, for a presentation, you can use these afterwards in a PowerPoint or in a bigger sort of presentation. They won't take up a lot of time. But you can set your duration to whatever you feel. And then you can choose your processing settings here. Again, if you want something just quick as a draft, you can choose quick. I'm going to just choose high quality uh, just because, again, it does look a little more presentable. And you want to hit create and choose a name for your file. Now that sounded really easy and relatively straightforward, and it was. I'm going to show you what that video would look like, just because normally it would take a few minutes to render. So if we look at the side pan, here's an example. Really simple, but really effective way to show off the point cloud. I'll just play it one more time. And as you can see, it's almost like watching a little film. So that trick also works uh, for zooming. So let's try it again, get into a position here. And again, we'll use our house as an example. So maybe I'm zoomed out right here. I'm going to go up, add a keyframe, and then just zoom in. Just like that. And you can see the path of the camera right up here. It's moving from here to here. If you want to preview it, you can. We'll just set four seconds. We can do a preview. And again, you can see the motion is nice and smooth. It's not jagged. And you get a really good look at the point cloud. So let's stop the preview and hit Create. And again, we'll call this the zoom in. 
Normally you would push save and it takes about two minutes to render this out. So let's take a look at what that looks like now. So again, uh, it was a little bit of a different angle that I chose for this one. But just to play it again, you get this nice look, super smooth, and it looks really great. The next effect that I'm going to show you is what I like to call a drone effect. So this is a really good way if you want to show off the top of your point cloud or if you want to give like a really broad view of what's going on. It gives you that sort of Google Earth sort of look. And Trimble Realworks makes that really easy to do. So let's just pick a location here, add a keyframe, and again, we're going to just use these controls here. So either up, down, left, or right, and get into a location. If you want, we can preview it again. Let's choose five seconds and just take a quick look. Well, I got some rendering time here. Depending on the size of your point cloud, it could take a little longer or shorter. Of course, if you have a GPU installed in your laptop, that goes a long way uh, in dealing with point clouds as well. So if we take a look at this uh, video here, when we're all done, click our drone. And again, you get this nice overhead flyover effect. We'll play it one more time just to take a look at it again. The final uh, effect that I'm going to show you is what I like to call the swoosh. So we're already in this bird's eye view. We're going to stay here. And instead of zooming or panning, uh, we're going to add a keyframe. And we're going to orbit. So you can orbit by uh, using your left mouse button here. And just come down to, oh, it's a little too far, right about here. So you're just on the, the same level here. And that's going to create this nice sort of pan down effect. Again, you can go ahead, set your duration, and create the video, and I'll show you what that looks like as well. So you can see on this one, we went the opposite direction, but it kind of gives you a nice way to show off multiple views of the cloud. We'll watch it one more time. So again, really just takes two clicks, and you have a great looking visual that you can share. So you might be wondering, now you have four or five three to seven clips, what can you do with those? Well, the nice thing is that once you have them, if you're on Mac, you can throw them into something like iMovie, or if you're on a Windows PC, you can throw them onto like Windows Movie Maker or something like that. And when you put them all together, you get a presentation that looks something like this. So again, you get multiple angles. Uh, it was really just a five to 10 minute job and you can present your point cloud, give a presentation, maybe put some annotations around there uh, to, to add to your deliverables. But again, just a quick and unique way to show off uh, your point cloud and different things for your presentations. All that you can do here in real Trimble RealWorks. Um, if you have any questions or if you'd like to learn more about the, the video creator in Trimble RealWorks, please be sure to visit, visit our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash Trimble RealWorks. And we have a full 15-minute long tutorial on how to use this tool and some other tips and tricks that you might find useful. If you have any other questions, please be sure to drop them in the comments. and We'll be sure to get back to you. If you enjoyed this live event, let us know. We'll do some more. And be sure to follow along for more RealWorks tips. Thanks for joining us today.